Welcome to Vlog 13. If you don't know us already, we're Harry and Nikki, and last month we finished our 17-seater minibus camper van conversion in order to take it across Europe this summer. In this episode, Harry and I hiked around a beautiful lake in the Austrian Alps, then found ourselves in a little car trouble. Once that was sorted, we headed for the German border, were stopped by the police, Hi, uh, in Hello. Hello. How How are you? and later continued into Germany. We explored the historic city of Munich, and then toured Dachau concentration camp, which was completely fascinating. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. Okay, welcome back guys. So we've made a lot of headway since you've last seen us. We've headed through the coast of Italy and we've headed through the Austrian border, through the mountains. But yeah, the Austrian border, there was just two guys kind of stood there with guns staring at us again, gave us a little wave, but yeah, that was all right. Um, but now we are at a beautiful park up in Austria, right by a lake, so we'll show you around now. So we're lost. <laughs> in what was meant to be an hour and 15 minute hike, we walked all the way up this hill thinking it was the track, but I think the track's actually down by the lake down there. But yeah, we're going to try to find our way back onto the track. I think we might have to go back the way we came, if not. Help. Help us. Stranded on an Austrian Alps. So just fuck me like the sad boy. Save me from all of the pain and the drama. I'm playing whisper down the lane with my problems. Hope it's somebody gonna solve them And so I lose myself in labor And we're off And we are heading to another lake But unfortunately for us, we were diverted to a local car mechanic Who gave us further advice on where to find a nearby Ford garage which Harry will tell you about now. Last way to save money, but it turns out Austria's got a lot of mountains and uh, our brake pads didn't really enjoy the mountains very much. It was more going down the mountains they didn't yeah, it was enjoy. down the mountains. They started smoking a lot, they started overheating. We started smelling it, so we stopped on the mountain side. And then luckily there was that mechanic just down the road that we just stopped at and he basically told us our brake pads have worn away quite a lot and they've got really hot. But he's given us a Ford dealership in Salzburg that's open tomorrow, which is luckily where we're heading anyway, roughly. So we've just stopped right outside Salzburg we're going to stay in this park up for the night and then uh, head to the dealership in the morning and try and get the parts fitted. And lose all of our money, yay! Ooh. This isn't even the thingy, it's just police. Yeah, it is, it's the border. Is it? It means stop. Does that mean stop? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, so that's my uh, vaccine passport. Hello. Hello, my how are you? Okay, okay, that's okay, but I need a uh, yeah. driving license. I'm just finding my passports. COVID records for you. Where are you from? Uh, we're from the UK. Oh. Yeah, London. Um, sorry, one second, I'm just trying to find my... Um... Um, babe, where's your wallet? Do you have a driving license? That was scary. Jeez, it's the first time we've had that. We're All right, so we got properly pulled over that time. We're in the middle lane. They picked on us. They're English. <laughs> they hate the English. They do. They don't like the English. They were nice enough, but yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say they were nice. They were pretty intimidating. Yeah, they were actually. You were quite nervous. I was nervous. Also, you don't look nervous, babe, because again, it looks even more I, I thought we were going to get turned around. I was thinking, how else are we going to get to Netherlands? <laughs> no, I knew they'd let us through. It's more that they asked us for car documents. We don't have our V5 on us, and I was thinking, shit. Yeah, we avoided that. We one. did completely. But I was like, ah, oh, this is very, this is very good security. Like we haven't had this. <laughs> but yeah, we are through. We're through. Thank God for that. We're in Germany. <laughs>
Alright guys, so welcome to Munich. We've stopped for some lunch at this like nice little restaurant in the square. It's so busy because it's the weekend. But yeah, we're gonna get some food now and then we're gonna keep exploring Munich. Exciting star. So we're back from Munich now. It was a nice little short trip into town today. We've come to park up at this lake because they had outdoor showers, which we've used, which was amazing. And now we feel nice and clean and Nikki is in here cooking some dinner. Stir fry. Stir fry. With prawns. Stir fry with prawns. Ooh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, you'll see that in a minute. But um, yeah, and then I think we're just gonna eat that and then nestle in. And make some headway tomorrow. And make some headway tomorrow. No, we're not. What else are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we're going to Dachau concentration camp um, to have a tour of the concentration camp. They kind of like left them how they kind of were. Yeah, but I mean, we're. But yeah, that'll be interesting. I think it'll be a bit harrowing. So. Yeah, I think it'll be really fascinating though to learn about the history. Yeah. But yeah, dinner is it's served. <laughs> But yeah, this is delicious, so I think we're just going to have to catch it in the morning. Yeah. So, see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. So, good morning. We've just arrived at the Dachau concentration camp. We're just waiting to get parked up. How are you feeling about it? Somber. Are you? I'm interested though. I'm, interested. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm more interested than anything right now. I think it, the shock will hit when we're there. You're saying it's a very fitting rainy day for the... Yeah. Very it's dreary. Thing, yeah. We're wearing jeans. We haven't worn jeans since three months ago. <laughs> yeah, we're going to buy a ticket now. I think it's three pound euro for the day. Yeah. Um, just to park up, and then we will see you. See you in there. See you. In. Dachau concentration camp opened in 1933 and was initially intended to hold political prisoners. As it was one of the first concentration camps in Germany, it served as a model for other concentration camps that followed, such as Birkenau and Auschwitz. The entrance gates to the prisoner's camp carried the translated phrase, work makes free, suggesting that the prisoner's physical work would eventually lead to their freedom, which evidently was untrue. This phrase was to support the Nazis' propaganda by which they conveyed to the outside world that the prisoners were merely working for their freedom, rather than being punished and tortured until death. There were 36 barracks, or blocks, which is where the overpopulated prisoners slept in. It was explained to us that at sunrise, prisoners were woken, given a half mug of watery soup and made to do roll call every morning. This was the square that roll call was done every day. If the prisoners were not still or collapsed from exhaustion during roll call, then they would be shot, as would anyone that might try to help them. After roll call, they were made to do labour until the sun went down, and when that happened, they were marched into their blocks, forbidden to leave until work restarted the next morning. Over the 12 years of use as a concentration camp, the Dachau administration recorded the intake of 206,000 prisoners and 32,000 deaths. So we've just come out of the crematorium. Um, we entered on the left hand side and each room we went into was described as a different place. So the first room was where they were told that they were about to go for a shower. So they were just kind of waiting there in the waiting room. The next room is where they asked to take their clothes off, ready for the shower. Um, the next room was the gas chamber, where they were killed and gassed. Um, and the room after that was where their bodies were stored until they could be put in the crematorium, which was the next room. Only three or four bodies could go in each, like, what's it called? Furnace each time. Each furnace at each time, so it took ages, which is why they had to build more crematoriums. Um, and then, obviously, the chimney on top. Yeah, obviously that is where the cell blocks could smell um, the dead people from where they were living. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Mm, it's horrible. Imagine thinking, like, that could be us soon, you know. Mm. I think we're going to head now, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go back to our van and make some headway a bit further up north. Yeah, crazy day. Yeah, really crazy, really eye-opening. Learned a lot. 
Yeah. Let's go. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, please make sure you like this video if you did enjoy it and also make sure you're subscribed for our next video which is also coming out on Sunday. See you then.